In this video, I want to talk about backing up and restoring TradeStation. There, it's, it's for us, it's and for most people that have been using TradeStation, you'll find it to be a valuable, valuable uh, function. It's built into TradeStation. It was not always built into TradeStation, uh, but thankfully they have included it in, and it's been around for some time. Nonetheless, a lot of people do not use it, uh, and um, they usually will think about using it once they run into a problem. Backup restore is under file uh, backup restore and then you have your options here. It's fairly intuitive and easy to set up. You can also you can go to help and this is great for anybody that's just learning just beginning to use TradeStation go to as well as for those who've been using it. I use it all the time. Tra TradeStation help and <clears throat> On their search tab, type backup restore, and you have all these different subject matters that come up that you could read so you could become familiar with. And there's step by step directions on, uh, for example, if you want to create or modify a backup configuration, run a scheduled backup, restore an archive backup file, set up a backup file. It gives you clear instructions, and if you just follow those, you'll get the hang of how to set that up. And going back to uh, what I mentioned earlier, earlier, just uh, a few seconds. A lot of people, a lot of TradeStation users will, and that's how I learned how <laughs> to continue to do a backup. Is because, uh, but actually, when I first had the experience, TradeStation never had the backup functionality that it does have. So, the first time I ever had to re uninstall TradeStation and reinstall it again, which caused me to lose a lot of my workspaces, desktop charts, um, and had to rebuild all of those. That's when I started saving the back. Uh, my What I used to do is basically s s save my uh, all my desktops and uh, workspaces, and I would basically save them externally. So, but the first time that it happened to me where I had to uninstall TradeStation and reinstall it, I didn't have that. So I had to rebuild everything. And it took me a long time because I have a lot of workspaces, a lot of desktops, a lot of charts following a lot of different instruments. And so what ends up happening is to most people is they experience that once. And then at that point, they begin doing a backup, which is you know normal I guess human evolution uh, you experience contrast and then from that contrast you become clear on uh, what you should do and what you want so in this video hopefully anybody um, anybody watching this video and in our generally speaking we do suggest this to our clients so in this video if you watch you happen to watch this and you're not doing it I would suggest doing the backups uh, uh, because not only does it allow you to restore TradeStation if you ever have to, you have the need, uh, in other words, to uninstall TradeStation and run it again on your, install it again on your computer, but also in the event that you buy another trading PC and you want to set that up with TradeStation, you could simply use, uh, you could simply use this uh, function, this built-in function to set it up, excuse me for that, you could uh, simply use this function to set it up exactly how um, you had set up TradeStation on your other computer. So let's say you buy a new computer and what ends up happening is you want to set up, trade. you download TradeStation on it, but now instead of going in the going through the process of building every desktop, every workspace, every chart, you simply restore it with your backup file from your other computer. So you would put it on a memory card and then export it to your new PC and via the memory card and then you would use the restore function and pull that backup file from the memory card and use that to set up TradeStation. So it's very, very useful in that sense as well. Um, there are a lot of reasons why people would need to back up to restore TradeStation and why, and so I'm not going to go through all of that because uh, there's so many different reasons. Um, the best thing to do is to go ahead and we're going to go to File, Backup. First, let's do a backup. You can s here you have all these boxes that I have checked, and on the right of it you have all the components. It tells you so here you have every component segregated so you can choose which ones you want to have in your backup. I pretty much just 
to save time I have everything checked the only thing I have unchecked is which by default is usually unchecked is the data cache there's no reason to back that up unless uh, you have a reason for backing it up and the next thing once you have that set it's just a matter of being aware of where the destination or in other words where the backup will be saved and clicking start backup once you click start backup this window opens up with a five minute delay the reason for that is you obviously don't want to do this during live trading environment um, and it tells you here that during this process what's going to happen is if you're going to it'll be almost the same experience where you log out and log back into TradeStation so be sure you don't do this during uh, a time where you're trading so you can just click cancel or click continue if you click continue the backup will begin immediately that's how you would do a manual backup uh, my recommendation is to set up an automatic backup so you could schedule that set up the destination tell tell it how many archives to save so do you want it to every time it saves a new one do you want it to replace the ex previous weeks if we have set up a weekly if you're doing it weekly do you want it to re just erase over the previous one or do you want to save you know five of the most recent five archives I have it set to save the most recent one archive so at any moment in my in this folder here I have two archives on this PC uh, or you could just say replace existing archives check the schedule automatic backup job enter a time where you want the backup to start and choose if you want to do a daily weekly or monthly I prefer to do a weekly and if I need to if I in the middle of the week I end up developing five or six different new things uh, I could do a ba manual backup at any point so I have it set to Saturdays because I obviously don't want to do this on Monday through Friday because those are trading days uh, and it's just a matter of once you have it set up like that just click OK and you can even save it here you could set up new you can set up various different backup configurations and save them and once you click you have everything set up you click close then the backup will automatically start for you as you've designated it even if TradeStation platform is not on in other words it's not open uh, as long as your PC is open, then the backup will, con will commence. Once you do create a backup, what happens is these files are saved at, in that folder, and this is what they look like. So you can take these files and you could save them, and I recommend this, save them externally. Easiest way would be a memory card, or you could use a CD if you want. Memory card probably a little bit easier. And save it to your memory card, and now you have it backed up like that and at any time that you have a need for it you could just retrieve that memory card and let's say you want to restore trade station again you go to a backup restore and this time we'll go to restore and it's just a matter of if it's a USB memory card plug it in then click browse find the backup file and then click start restore it takes a couple of minutes and saves tons and tons of time so that's how you would back up and restore TradeStation. Hope that helps.